Taos in Madrid, Spain writes to me and he says, if there is any audible, he asks, if there are any audible differences between digital audio files of CD quality or high res quality when we use a DAC that already oversamples the digital input to a higher resolution. Are we okay with simply buying CD quality audio files? Since the DAC is doing all the hard work of oversampling anyway, I mean, why does it matter? Well, yeah, it does matter. And first off, CD, I love CDs, and they've come a long, long way over the years. But still, despite all the great mathematical work on building filters that we really don't hear, you know, the, the sharp roll-off as well, they are limited. I mean, when you sample at 44 kilohertz, th there's something called the, the Nyquist theorem, which basically says you have to have at least two samples uh, from the highest frequency that you are going to expect, which is 20 kilohertz, right? So, I mean, you're, you're cutting off just over that, you've got this brick wall filter, and it's still there. We, it's just, it isn't the best way to do it. And oversampling helps a bit. It isn't really the answer. So can we hear the difference? Well, first off, if you take it in pretty much any DAC today does a lot of oversampling. Take, take our direct stream DAC. The direct stream DAC jumps up anything you put into it to a very high sample rate. I, I don't remember what Ted uses, but it's way, way up there. And he extends the 16-bit word to about a 50-bit word and converts it over to DSD. I mean, there's a lot of processing going on so that everything has a chance at working. And yet still, despite all that oversampling, I can hear the difference between a CD and a higher resolution version of the same file. And at Octave Records, we have the wonderful ability to record originally at very high sample rates and then slowly take it down to a CD rate. And while those CDs from Octave sound great, they sure don't sound like the original files. <laughs> so yeah, oversampling is great. but I wouldn't focus on buying things at CD quality. Personally, I like to have as high a sample rate as I can in purchasing my music. And let me say one other thing about that. You got to make sure that you trust who it is you're doing business with when you buy media. Because if the original recording was made at a relatively low sample rate, and then they, and it's not that hard to do, they upsample it and then sell it for more money, that's not all that kosher. That's not all that honest. Unless they tell you that's what they did, then no, that's fine, go for it. But if you think you're getting a high resolution file, you wanna know that it was at least recorded at that resolution right? Not just upsampled from some lower resolution recording. So like at Octave Records, we're very transparent about how we do this. We record everything today at 256 DSD, which is 11 megahertz, 11.2 megahertz. That's really high sample rate. And now the original Octave recordings were all done at single rate DSD on the Sonoma system before we switched over to Pyramix. But even those were at 2.8 megahertz, I think. Is that what it is for single rate? It's 64 times 44.1. <laughs> you can do the math. It's like 2.4 megahertz. Anyway, it's very fast. And that, that's as low as Octave Records has ever done it. And now from there, especially our 256, you know, we take it back down to DSD, we mix it, and that DSD is at 352 kilohertz. We mix it and we pop it back up and we do all this other stuff, but we're very transparent about that. That's how we do it. That's what you're getting. That's what you're paying for. And that's very fair. 
for somebody to take an original recording that was done at say 44 or 48 kilohertz and sell you an upsampled version at 192, eh, that's, that's wrong. And so you just, just be careful. That happens a lot. Know who you're buying this stuff from and then you'll be fine. Okay, it does matter. All right, thanks for listening to me rant and I'll talk to you tomorrow.